Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Saturday morning, and I'm about to do my makeup. Yara and I are gonna go have like a day date together, so I thought we could get ready and play with a couple new makeup items. I don't have like a lot here, but I do have a new foundation that everyone loves. So like, I finally decided to just give it a try. The House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Everyone loves it. So I was in Sephora yesterday. I did vlog it in the last vlog and I swatched a bunch on my neck and it looked like this was a perfect match. It is the shade Light Neutral because I kid you not, I used to literally <laughs> match people's foundations when I worked at MAC. And I don't know why I have a really hard time on myself. How do you open this? What is in here? Like some days I feel like I look really pink. Some days I feel like I look really yellow. So I usually just end up going with like a neutral. Oh my God, that was really hard to open. So I'm kind of curious if this will be able to cover my hyperpigmentation and acne or if we're gonna have to spot conceal. Um, but yeah, everyone raves about this. Clean, cutting edge, long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, it's buildable, medium coverage, luminous, Second skin finish, ultra fluid, lightweight formula. It does say to shake it first. So here is what the bottle looks like. And then it just has a little pump here. This looks so much darker than it did in Sephora. I'm telling you, I have the worst luck with matching foundation. It's way too dark. I actually can't, I really can't. Cause I tried the fair, oh yeah, that's too dark. I tried the fair, shades and they looked too light. Like, look at that. I'm gonna have to really work to blend that in there. Okay, no, I'm gonna have to go exchange that later. The good thing is Sephora is really good about exchanging. I just like, I can, it's just, it's gonna end up looking way too, way too dark and orangey. I kid you not guys, I did <laughs> so much swatching in the Sephora, it had to be the lighting. Well, that was a fun little ride, but we have something else we can try. So if I am gonna exchange this, I also may need to exchange this. Um, I needed a new Huda Beauty baking powder. This one is totally gone. This is the cupcake shade. It's a very pale pink, but they are out. So I got the a little bit pinkier, darker pink, <laughs> the cherry blossom cake. So I need to try this one and see if it's uh, too dark because I asked the checkout girl about it and she said um, that this stuff has been selling out a lot and if it was too dark I could just bring it back so so I'm just gonna put on foundation and concealer and then we'll test this and see if it works well for my under eyes um, it said like light to medium shades so it could work, it could be a little too dark for me. But one foundation I've been picking up a lot lately that's like a perfect match right now, the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Foundation in the shade 3 Cool, which I think has more of a pinky undertone, but like the color match on this one is just like, ugh, it's so good. Oh, using the Sephora. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. I'm having, I'm having a genius moment. Let's go to the House Labs foundation. And then I'm gonna use, you know how they have like the shade finder? Oh, yes, okay, so let me put this in. Charlotte Tilbury, flawless longwear foundation, three cool. Okay, it's telling me, it, see? <laughs> it's telling me to get this in one shade, oh, one shade lighter. This is 175 and it's telling me to get 160, light neutral. This is light neutral. There must be multiple light neutrals. Okay, so I was on the right path. <laughs> I'm gonna still swatch it later and see because I don't know if I totally trust this, but uh, you know. And this foundation goes so beautifully on with this brush. And if you watch me regularly, you already know what I'm about to say. The almighty, holy grail Amazon brushes. This is the 104 buffer from Jessup. I'm telling you guys, if you have not bought those makeup brushes yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. These brushes are such good quality. I'll link them again, the Amazon makeup brushes. If you want like high quality brushes, great price, a set with everything you need, this is the move. But yeah, I like the way that this foundation goes on with this brush. I mean, this is like a really good brush, but you know how some foundation just goes on better with a sponge. All right, I'm taking some Shape Tape concealer and then we're gonna see how the new powder does. All right, I'm just blending that in. I also like to put my cream products on before powder in general, so I am gonna just throw on my cream bronzer as well. 
the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul. This is the best. Like when I tell you that this just blends like butter, I've gone through a whole tube of this. Like I bought this again. Like the blend is so seamless. Oh, I hear the recycling. I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of nervous to see if they're gonna take our recycling because it's like very full. We spent forever breaking down boxes the other day and like cutting up big boxes. So it's very full. Okay, hold on, stand by. Oh, yay! Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> it all went in. Yara and I were like <laughs> really nervous about that. I mean, it's kind of cool because like they have this machine, like with the truck, it just pulls up and like, <laughs> like there's no person doing it. So good thing the machine couldn't judge our boxes. <laughs> okay, and then this is the blush I've been using lately, the rose color of the Maracuja Juicy Blush. I think it is so beautiful and it just really stays on like all day. I feel like Tarte is one of my favorite brands right now. I just feel like they have really good product. Okay, let's try the powder. Fingers crossed. I mean, worst case I can return it, but it would be nice if it was good. So here's how it looks. It's a lot pinker than the last one I had. Okay, I'm just pressing it. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm like, I'm like, it's gonna be hot pink. It's like, girl, it's barely even darker. It's gonna be okay, you guys. And maybe it'll actually give me more brightness than the cupcake would, you know? Just using a little triangle puff. So I'm just gonna let this bake for a little bit, but guys, I think it's gonna be good, I think. All right, I'm gonna go finish my makeup and then sweep this off and we'll see how it looks. Okay, you guys, Yara and I are headed out. We're gonna do just a day date, run some errands. I'm not gonna vlog, just enjoy our Saturday. But the under eye powder, was good, I'm so excited. I feel like it definitely brightened up a little bit more than usual, so yay. But I am gonna go exchange the house labs, probably later. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Sorry I did not vlog anything else yesterday after getting ready. I just took the day off from vlogging, but I'm still glad I got to hang out with you in the morning a little bit. Weekends are like, I don't know, sometimes on weekends I like to take a little time because I vlog pretty much all week. Um, and then on the weekend, Yara and I get to hang out. So Yara and I yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Oh my God, I'm having the biggest brain for it. Oh, okay, okay, we just, we ran errands. He's setting up this cart thing in the garage right now that we got. Then our friend came over for a little bit and then we went on date night. <laughs> my brain, my brain is not working. Doesn't work. We went out to dinner. I got really, really yummy buffalo cauliflower. Dime Super Skin Toner. Still live, laugh, loving this brand. Hyperglow Serum. So today we are gonna go visit Yar's family. We're gonna go over to the people who had the baby. I had told you guys about that before. I posted a picture of me and the baby on Instagram in a photo dump. Newborn snuggles are something special. I'm telling you, I haven't really, I don't think I've ever held like a newborn until that last weekend. So we're gonna pick up Yar's grandma and bring her over to meet the baby. And I'm so excited for <laughs> more snuggles. More snuggles with the baby. They're just so small. Like until you really see a newborn in person and it just, like you really just see how little they are. It's like, it's just so wild and so beautiful. I'm just like birth babies and all of that just makes me cry. <laughs> Cause it's just like, I don't know, it's just so magical to me. I just, I really can't, I really can't do it. Makes me emotional. Guys, I am still thinking about that Fenty perfume that I sprayed at Sephora a few days ago. Like, I will tell you that lingered for so long. Yar, even like hours later, he was like, he's like, what's that smell? I'm like, it's literally still me. It has been absolutely freezing the last couple of days. Oh, we ended up getting like a lot of snow last, not a lot of snow. <laughs> we were having flurries yesterday and it ended up accumulating to like an inch or two, but it was just really pretty for like hours. But my point is it's been so dry because it's been so extra cold. Like last night I had to have Yar like slather me in lotion. I just, I feel so dry. We still have a good amount of this lotion left though. The candy cane from Tree Hut. Mm. I love, love this. This is a good lotion. I'm a tree hug girl. Like I've been buying their body lotion um, and body wash now, like 
I just love it. So it was obviously hair wash day. I'm kind of deciding what I want to do with it. Um, I'm still very much into that vol voluminous <laughs> hair we did the other day in the vlog, but I haven't done like curls or crimp in a while. So I'm kind of deciding the vibe I want to go. Mm, I'm gonna feel it out, I'm gonna feel it out, but I'm gonna go do my makeup for the day and my hair and I'll check back in with you guys later. Okay, so I'm currently in the process of rearranging my office. <laughs> yesterday, also what Yara and I did yesterday was move this over into this corner here and it's just so much brighter because this mirror was blocking so much light from that window. Um, and I have the makeup mirror, so I don't need like natural light. So um, I just did my makeup there and it came out good. So I like it here. It feels, I don't know, it just feels better. The rest has not been decided at all. This has a bunch of um, shoes and purses. So I don't love this piece, but it hides things really well. I'd like to get a bigger mirror. That's like a bin of hair stuff. Like I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with anything else yet, so. Um, standby but this is where the desk is now so and then here is the outfit of the day funny enough it's all from Fashion Nova not sponsored I just like randomly was looking on the website and bought some stuff um, so I got this Hamptons uh, sweatshirt here which I think is really cute it's navy blue and this is like embroidered on and then I love the fit of these jeans they're really comfortable and really stretchy um, I'll have to look up which ones they are because like I love the way that they feel on. They're just so comfortable and they just have like such a cute little kind of wide leg raw hem fit. So I like them. They're, oh, they're just so comfy. Yeah, like the now, oh my gosh, the natural light now is, there we go, <laughs> is a lot, a lot better with the desk moved. Um, so I don't know, new year, sometimes you just want to like move things around haven't figured out the rest yet like I said but um like I don't love this chair I got this off Facebook marketplace um like when it looked better in the pictures and then when I went to pick it up this was a long time ago it was like it's just it was a little different than what I thought I think it might be an outdoor chair <laughs> I don't know and then this table we had ordered that for our kitchen table and it was too small from Amazon so it's made its way in here i live laugh love this bookshelf here like it's so beautiful it's from castlery and then this is old from the old house with the shoes and purses so we'll see <laughs> we'll see i'm not in like a massive rush to you know get it done but just gonna really like think about it and try to like be intentional with it you know so anyway that's the tea did a really simple makeup look and i ended up doing little um wavy curls for the first time in like a really long time but they wear so well and it's just like so quick these take like seven minutes to do so you know we're ready for the day so i don't know how much i'll vlog today because we're going to be with yara's family and i just want to be respectful but thought i would say hello tomorrow all right you guys guess what i got a different shade of the house labs foundation so i went back to sephora and they had hardly any shades <laughs> So I got the next lightest shade they had, which is shade 100 Light Neutral, but it actually looks like it could really be solid. So yeah, close that door. I need to find like, I need to re, I still need to finish rearranging the office cause like this background is not giving. But anyway, I know this vlog has been like so boring so far, but we're gonna go hang out with Mama Fearless today. So that'll be really fun, um, but I figured, <laughs> Figured we could just try this at this point. Here we go again with the hardest packaging ever to open. Yar is working at the office today, so we can be loud. Okay, here we go. Shade 100, light neutral. Okay, all right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, who's ready? Who's ready to see if this will actually match? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shut up, shut up you guys. Oh, wait, ah, I think it's perfect. Shout out, shout out to God in the universe. Oh my gosh. They really said this is the only one kind of in your shade range in stock. Try this one. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited now. It's a good day, people, it's a good day. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a sponge just because 
it takes a special foundation for me to use a brush even though I do have a good foundation brush but we're just gonna we're just gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge okay so you guys know I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and don't be alarmed it looks too light but like I have a light neck and just a lot of redness in my face it will blend in with the neck always match to your neck not your face <laughs> um so okay first and foremost it is covering all of my hyperpigmentation here it's supposed to be like a buildable medium wear foundation you leaving are you leaving don't leave stay with me in here <laughs> he's just looking at me like girl i want to go on the bed but i like immediately i'm kind of giving this more of like medium to full coverage but they did say it's buildable i don't even know if i have any building i need to do i will say it is extremely light on the skin feels like i have nothing on doesn't feel heavy or greasy wow i'm saying that coverage i was expecting anytime i do like a medium foundation i'm kind of expecting more work to have to be done but i am gonna wear this all day and do like a full wear test for you guys so stick around till the end and like i'm gonna live my life today like i'm going out doing things so hopefully it wears well doesn't oxidize etc but like i said it's got a lot of like good skin ingredients in it which is always like awesome 20 plus skincare ingredients oh i didn't shake it <laughs> it said to shake all right i'm taking a little more on my cheeks where my discoloration is but i mean i didn't even really need to like but you definitely can you guys this is so pretty if it wears well then like i get the hype i really do so feeling good so far um i am gonna go do the rest of my makeup which you guys have seen a million times and then we'll see how it looks once it's like set with powder and all that jazz all right you guys i just finished my makeup and I've just been doing simple makeup, like mascara and Dior, the boil. Um, and I'm not, I haven't even been wearing a highlighter every day. I don't know. Sometimes I like to just be a little matte. Um, so yeah, the foundation looks beautiful once I set it and did the rest of my makeup. Like, still stunning. I'm really excited to see how it wears. I want to see if it oxidizes and turns like orange. I want to see how it looks at the end of the day. It is 9.20 right now. So just for reference on how long we're going to wear it, who knows. I don't leave my makeup on like a super long time, but we'll see. We'll see how long we wear it today. So let's go see Mama Fearless. It has been way too long. All right, you guys, we are very pink today here for the vibes. Got my heart necklace on. My sweatshirt says love. We're just, we're giving Valentine's. So almost to my mom's. Um, she's bringing Cha-Cha to the groomer today. So I'm gonna go with her. Bruno's at home because they won't be able to play. Um, so I'm gonna bring Cha-Cha and my mom. Well, we're gonna go drop Cha-Cha off at the groomer's. And then my mom wants to go to Target to get the same comforter that we got for the bed recently. I sent her a picture and she was like, I love that, I need that. It would match my bedroom so well. Um, so we're gonna go to Target and hopefully it's still it should still be there and she's gonna get that comforter and then she needs a couple other things um, I actually also just ran out of cold brew So I'll probably grab that while we're there and then we'll probably have time to go out to lunch together So that'll be really fun, but I'm just overall excited too. Is it my turn? Thank you um, I'm overall just excited to hang out with her um, I'm waiting for her to text me back and tell me if I need to come up or if I'm gonna wait in the car Because we all know my beloved mother is never Never ready on time. Who am I kidding? I'm just gonna go upstairs. We have been trying to find the perfect light bulbs for our downstairs bathroom Because like it's really dark in there with the dark wallpaper and we like have the blinds closed because it's a bathroom um, and the lights we had were like really warm and uh, dark <laughs> So we bought a couple from Target um, and found the perfect ones. So we have a couple leftovers. So I'm bringing them to my mom. I text her. I'm like, do you need light bulbs? And she's like, yes. So bring her some light bulbs. Let's go see mama and cha-cha. All right, first stop. Look how cute my mom is with her little cardigan on that I got her. Oh, and you have your little wristlet. I don't think it's a cardigan though. Wait, like cardigans are short. Like this is more like a, what do they call those? 
I thought it was still a cardigan. Comment in the section below <laughs> if you think this is a cardigan or just a sweater. What do they call this? I think they it's just a, a long cardigan. Okay. We'll see what they all <laughs> we'll say. We'll see what they say. Such a bitch. Why can't I be nice? Sorry. <laughs> We're getting mom hair dye at Cosmo hair Prof. Dye. So this is natural blonde. Look at my roots, guys. Ouch! They blend in pretty well. Yeah, they do okay. But now that it's darker, the roots show up more. When I had it like the lightest blonde, it blended like nobody's business. Should I go light? No, I like it the way you've been like doing it. Darker. Yeah, especially Thank with the highlights. length. It's getting so long. Like you have a bob. I know, it's shocking, right? I love it. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. All right, now we're at Target. And they have this whole Valentine's Day section. Little hey, no, baby. I love matching outfits. Oh, I think they're adorable. Like, I thought these were for adults. I wish they were. I'm surprised they don't have it matching with adults. But I do love a little heart moment. Mom took out this sweater. Oh my God, that's cute. <laughs> she said, what is this? Exquisite. <laughs> what are y'all kids wearing these days? Dollars for four, so that's six a piece. Two for thirteen ninety nine. That's seven a piece. I'll oh, save a buck. I don't know. Now, what colors? Do <laughs> <laughs> Mom's trying to decide which pack of colors she likes. I really like that green, but you want the pink too. I kind of want the pink. I'm surprised too. there's no pink and green. But I like the orange. <laughs> Why does all this just make me so happy? And guys, I didn't realize these are like hearts on the little bubbles. It's so cute. Part of me wants to put this up. Mom's looking at quilts. And I'm gonna get these for Bruni's bum. <laughs> I think he's sick of the pumpkin puree. He's not feeling it. And then naturally, Mom and I are gonna look at pillows because we love pillows. Guys, look who I ran into, Haley. <laughs> She's a follower, so I thought I'd say hi in the vlog. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Person. she's even better in person oh stop <laughs> naturally we're looking at decor oh, and i'm really excited i'm gonna give my mom my couch pillows because she needs beige i do i need anything beige -y. so and i found the perfect replacement pillows for the couch because i have that green now in the artwork and in that blanket so look how cute this one's big and then this one's small. I'm really excited to like <laughs> go home, put it together. Yay. I wish I could have brought you your pillows though. Many hours later. I feel bad because he can smell cha-cha all over my sweater. I know, I'm sorry, you couldn't come. She was at the groomers. She was at the groomers. You're a very good boy, aren't you? Should we put the new pillows on? Do you wanna go outside? You wanna go pee pee? Come on, let's go. Yay! He wouldn't go outside when I first got home because he was too excited. Yes, good boy. <laughs> okay, guys, it's so funny. So they didn't have any big bags, but the lady was super nice and offered me a trash bag and it's huge and it fit all the pillows. So let's go ahead and put these in a bag. Actually, I'll probably just put it in the same trash bag for my mama so i'm glad that she she was looking for pillows and i'm like what color and she's like neutral and i'm like well <laughs> for you so let's see how these look we've got oh i love i'm just like really into plaid right now we've got these these are the big ones to go with these cute that is so cute okay and then these little ones match that little bit of like brownie orange there for the chairs. Oh, and they fit perfect. Perfect. The dog is having zoomies in the backyard. See Bruno in the backyard. <laughs> okay, wait, so cute. Cause I'm loving that little, little pops of color in here. And with the new background here, we have greens and oranges and for anyone who thinks that like having this tv here as artwork is silly that's so fine but when you look at artwork this big it's like almost a thousand dollars so if you want to just use this and swap out the artwork you're going to save a lot of money in the long run and it's great for like if we want to be in the kitchen or host here and put something on the tv here i think it's a great hack do what you want live your life but yeah, we've got that little bit of green on that, um, what is the word? Oh my God, <laughs> brain fart on that blanket. And then the little pop of kind of clay. And I just think it ties in so well. 
I feel like we finally have the perfect mix of color and neutral in this room. I love it. Well, on that note, you guys, I'm going to end this vlog here because it's going to go up. I have one vlog going up tomorrow and then this one. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. My mom and I hadn't seen each other in like a week, so I didn't vlog like a ton with her. But we had a really nice day catching up and hanging out. But I love you guys. And of course, I'll see you in a few days. Bye.